And as the nation remembers uh, President George H.W. Bush, so too does Rhode Island. And since his death, Eyewitness News has been gathering reaction from people in the Ocean State and New England that called him a friend or felt connected to him in some way. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen continues our remembrance of a president now with these words from locals who knew him best. Steve? A statesman, a witty man, courageous, principled. The amount of kind words for our former president from Rhode Islanders has been endless. I, George Herbert Walker Bush. He wasn't a Rhode Islander, but there are plenty of locals that consider President George H.W. Bush a friend. Easy person to be a friend to. Former Governor Ed Dupree walked us through his home after the news of the 41st president's death, telling stories of the man outside the Oval Office. November of 89, he got out of the, uh, the federal bulletproof limousine and all that, and he came in through the side door of my house, looked around the room, and uh, he said, hey, Ed, is that a Pac-Man machine? At Bush's birthplace in Milton, Massachusetts, some planted flags. You know, this, this man gave up his entire life in service to the country. And at the Bush compound in Kennebunkport, locals traveled to the funeral. It's such an honor to, to be invited and to actually be, be part of it. Retired Adjutant General Reginald Centracchio said when he met the president, Bush told stories about how he trained for World War II in Rhode Island. He explained to me what it was like to fly into Quonset and fly into a Charleston and several occasions he said, said, son, I almost bought the farm here. Later, he returned to Bryant University to be the commencement speaker in 2008. Bryant's president says it was an honor. We lost, we lost not only a statesman, but we lost a leader of character. And I have been on the phone with Bryant University today and got a copy of his entire commencement speech to graduates in 2008. I will have some poignant highlights for you on Eyewitness News at 6. Words that were impactful to graduates then that may be even more powerful now. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News. All this week we've been reporting on President Bush's many connections to Rhode Island from his Navy training to his visits. And that includes a visit 10 years ago to Bryant University. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen continues our coverage now live in studio. Steve. Well, Shannon, Mike, there is no doubt some people watching this broadcast right now who were there in May 2008 when President Bush spoke for 12 minutes to graduates. He joked and then gave advice that is still true today. Here. The Archive 2008 commencement speech starts with an introduction by Bryant President Ron Makeley. Wearing his bulldog Bryant tie, Mr. President. Makeley and President George H.W. Bush became friends when Makeley was a Rhode Island congressman during the Bush presidency. He had the background, the intellect, and he had the wit and the character to become a great president. Speaking of that wit. If at first you do not succeed, then skydiving is not for you. <laughs> I think he made the crowd feel really very connected to him, not just as president, but as a human being. I know there's a little chance that anything I might possibly tell, tell you would be recalled tomorrow. Uh, that's just the way graduation speeches are. But there's little chance that's true. The speech still resonates today, maybe more so. I have happened to believe that we are the greatest, freest nation on the face of the earth. We have no apologies to be given. We can keep striving for improvement. And if you take nothing else away from my time with you today, let it be that. Character matters. No amount of fame or fortune is worth losing your very soul. Makeley said it was an absolute honor to also award the president with an honorary degree from Bryant that day. We've posted the entire video from the Bryant University archives on our website, WPRI.com. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.